What's up guys, this is Sam. This is the iPhone 10. We've been waiting for this for a very long time. I picked up the silver 256 gigabyte model. I actually wanted the space gray, but because Verizon is trash as a carrier, uh, I had an issue once again. Refer to my other video if you're interested. That was the uh, that was the FedEx truck starting up if you were interested. Uh, I'm super excited to get my hands on this, so let's go ahead and wait for that truck to pass because that is so loud. All right, now we can go ahead and get in the phone. Once again, iPhone 10, 256 gigabyte in silver. Let's go ahead and get inside. I've never done a one-headed unboxing before. It's kind of fun. All right, plastic is off. Box is right here. Let's go ahead and pop the top. Classic design by Apple in California. I assume you have your standard reading materials, Apple stickers. Same thing that comes with every other phone in 2017. Nothing exciting here. Uh, this is the iPhone 10. Wow, that looks... That looks insane in person. This is once again the silver version, so you can see it. It's pretty impressive. You can see my reflection, that's because we've got the plastic on there. We'll re-examine that in just one second. Underneath, you've got your ear pods with the lightning adapter because, you know, the headphone jack's still gone. Lightning cable and power brick right there. That's all you get in the box. Nothing is special with the iPhone 10. Really wish there were AirPods, but there were not. This is the phone itself. Let's go ahead and tear the plastic off. I don't know, a little less satisfying than usual. Let's go ahead and power this thing on. Uh, I can't tell you guys how good this looks in person. I didn't think I was going to like the band around it, but it actually looks pretty sweet. Apple logo was just there and then it disappeared. It's like 40 degrees out, maybe it's too cold. On the side here, you've got your power buttons like normal, the antenna band right there. Up at the top on the back, you've got the new dual camera system, which should be incredible. No headphone jack once again on the bottom, just the lightning port and dual speakers. This is the initial screen. As you can see, the display no longer has huge borders around it. They are much smaller than before. Uh, it's massive. Let me go ahead and swipe up to get started. It's really weird to see a screen this big on a body this small. I experienced this on the Galaxy S8 earlier this year, but from an iPhone standpoint, think of it as an iPhone 8 Plus screen squeezed into an iPhone 8 size device because really the, the form factor and footprint are very similar between the iPhone 8 or the iPhone 7 or 6 or 6S for that matter and the brand new iPhone 10. Let's go ahead and set this up and I will check back once the device is ready to go. This is new on the iPhone 10. There are now tutorial screens showing you how to go home, how to switch between recent apps, quickly access controls. That's how you get to control center by swiping in the top right hand corner of the screen. You ask Siri by holding down the button and our first time on the iPhone 10, swipe up and here we go. I was really interested to see what firmware would ship with this. Interesting that the iPhone 10 ships on iOS 11.0.1. .1. This does not have new emojis. You'll have to update this to get all the latest features and changes. And this already feels really smooth on iOS 11.0.1. .1. Not having a home button is going to be really interesting to get used to. It feels sort of weird to swipe up, but everything is so fluid and fast. Um, obviously, it's the latest phone. The A11 Bionic inside is making it super speedy. But even, even going into things, it's sort of weird because the device feels slightly too big to be swiping up and it almost feels off balance. I'm sure that's something I'll get used to. Control center up here. That's also sort of weird. I feel like it would have been smarter to put control center where you could easily access it because now you, like with one hand, you have to sort of wiggle up to do that. Or I guess if you're holding it in your right hand, it would be a little bit easier. This is my left right now. Uh, and then you can swipe here for notification center. You've got these new toggles on the lock screen or when you swipe down for that. Let's test Face ID. Watch the lock. There we go. And we're into the phone. It recognized my face. I wanna go ahead and try that one more time. All right, so you turn on the phone and I'm in. That was as, almost as fast as Touch ID. We'll do a more extensive test later today to see which one is really faster. But as of right now, guys, those are your first impressions on the iPhone 10. Super positive so far. This is a phone I've been looking forward to since the second I heard rumors about it. Edge to edge display, OLED, super retina. Everything is incredibly fast. Gestures are sort of crazy but that's something we'll get used to and I'm really enjoying it so far. If you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to drop a like down below as always. And of course, subscribe for more on the iPhone 10 in the future. All of this was shot on iPhone 8 if you were wondering why it looked a little bit different, but honestly, 4K, really good there as well. Anyway, guys, we'll do more testing later and I'll talk to you guys in my next one.